What is goody, my people? We are back again with another gem. Listen, today I'm going to be answering one of the, the most asked questions that I've received on this channel, and that is, how did I make all of my money? Now, you guys watch my videos. You guys see I be investing 10K into this, 30K into this, 25K into this. I just be investing a lot of money, and people are just like, how the heck did this man have money? And I realize that a lot of people don't know, so I'm going to take you guys through exactly how I built kind of my income sources, how I started making money, how, how what I did with my money once I got it. I'm going to take you all through the whole loop, you know what I'm saying? So if you're excited for this video, smash the like button, you know what I'm saying? Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And hit the post notification bell because I'm dropping straight gems. And y'all already knew this. That's why you clicked on the video. But without further ado, let's just hop right into this. Wait, before we hop into the video, I just started the pre-sale for my course, my CryptFi Academy. It is a whole course that is catered to literally anybody that wants to learn more about crypto, whether you know absolutely nothing about it, or if you're already in crypto and need to learn more skills, I go from beginner to super advanced. You learn basically everything I know about crypto and DeFi as a whole. I walk you guys through all these different tutorials, how to set up your wallet, how to actually start trading, how to find these coins before they 100x, 1000x, million x, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Hit the link inside my um, description. It's also in the comments down below. Today's the last day to get it for the pre-sale price. Um, if you wait until after this day is up, you will have to pay full price for it. But... If you are part of my Patreon, you'll be able to have the pre-sale price for the entire time. So it's kind of it's kind of a trick, you know what I'm saying? You can join the Patreon and then get the course for cheaper than you would if you just got waiting and got the course and then hopped in the Patreon because you're gonna want to be in the Patreon after you get the course and you want and you're gonna want to have the course if you had the Patreon. So you know what I'm saying? Get them both. The Patreon is basically where I tell you guys exactly what coins I buy and when I buy them, why I'm buying them. I put you guys on to basically everything I'm on to because I can't make a YouTube video for literally everything I do. It's a lot easier to go out there and just make a quick Patreon post and let you guys know I just bought this coin. I'm just about to take profit on this coin. This coin is up a million percent. Let's all eat. You know what I'm saying? So all the links are inside the description. Go to Cryptfire Academy com for the course or the academy and go to patreon.com slash juvereers gems to get tapped into the patreon but without further ado let's hop into my little story time all right so boom right i'm, I'm gonna start from the beginning i'm gonna kind of explain my whole thought process when it comes to money because i feel like that's a big part no matter what job you have no matter what business you start if you don't have the thought process and the, the mentality to keep the money or um, to grow the money, then it really means absolutely nothing. You can give somebody a person, you can give, if a person has never saved a thousand dollars and you give them a million dollars, they'll blow that money. You know what I'm saying? So you getting more money does not teach you how to handle more money. And that's a misconception that a lot of people have. But on to me, right? So as a kid, I've never been the type that that really liked things, right? I don't spend my money on things. You guys see me in videos. I wear tank tops and black t-shirts. I wear that every single freaking day. Um, I really don't buy clothes. The only reason I have any different type of clothes is because my wife buys me clothes because I guess she gets tired of me wearing the same clothes over and over. I'm just not, not the type of person that likes to go shopping. You know what I'm saying? I don't like buying things. Material, material things don't really like, they don't do nothing for me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to like talk down to anybody that does it. If you like designer clothes, if you like designer shoes, if you like luxurious cars, that's you. I have no problem with that. You spend whatever the heck you want to spend your money on. Me, on the other hand, I was never the type of person I really needed to spend money. All I spent money on was like food. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's really all my money went. So when I started making money, and I'll teach you guys, I'll show you guys exactly what I did to make money. Well, tell you, I'm not gonna show you. Um, but once I started making money, the money was kind of like sitting there. You know what I'm saying? It was just growing and growing and growing. And I was making a pretty good amount of money, so it's growing pretty fast. And um, yeah. But on to kind of like how I made my money, right? I feel like a lot of you guys don't know. I'm a YouTuber, right? And I don't just do the financial videos. I started off in 2016 with doing workout videos. I know y'all be looking at my, my arms every time I put my hands up like this. I'm freaking jacked, you know what I'm saying? I bench press a million pounds. People actually ask me all the time if I am a bodybuilder, and like a real bodybuilder. You know what I'm saying? The ones that take steroids and everything like that. I don't do that. But I'm saying all that to say, in 2016, I started a YouTube channel. Um, I was only uploading like fitness videos or whatever like that. It was doing okay. I think I got like 10,000 subscribers or something like that. Um, it really wasn't making that much money at all. But it was very fun. I, I enjoyed doing it. But then I kind of switched my channel, right? Then I started making more entertainment videos as far as like picking up girls. I used to pick up lines. I used to do funny pick up lines. I used to try and pick up as many girls as possible. I used to, I was just doing like, you know what I'm saying? Entertainment videos, right? And that's when my channel blew up. My channel, actually, my main channel um, right now that I have is at 
over a million subscribers. So I have that channel, you know what I'm saying? And that YouTube, if you didn't know, YouTube pays pretty well, right? So keep in mind, I'm like, at this point when my channel has blown up, I'm probably like 18, 19, 20, around that age. And I'm racking in $15,000 a month, $25,000 a month, $40,000 a month, $50,000 a month, you know what I'm saying? Just for making videos. And keep in mind, I was still living at my parents' house for, I think, two years before I, um, after I started my YouTube channel, um, or after I started like making decent money, um, I was still in my parents' house. So I really had no bills and I didn't buy any designer clothes. I didn't buy any watches. I, I didn't buy nothing. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have a car. I, my first car I had was a Toyota, um, Corolla that my grandfather, um, passed down to me. So I was free. So I, I really never spent my money. You know what I'm saying? So all this money coming in, I'm a young guy. I don't really got nothing to spend my money on. It's just coming in and being stacked. You know what I'm saying? Being stacked, being stacked, being stacked. Keep in mind, at this point, I wasn't really investing that heavily into anything. Um, all the money that I was making was just like going into my bank account, and I just enjoyed the numbers, and my bank account continually getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But then I really, I wasn't satisfied like fully with YouTube, right? It was making great money, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you're still under YouTube. YouTube is still paying you. Like, you still have a boss, technically, even though you make videos whenever you want to make them, you know what I'm saying? So I decided to get into like businesses, right? And y'all see me wear these do-rags in every, almost every single video. This is my brand. I have a do-rag brand. Um, we sell a bunch of different do-rags, a bunch of different designs. And that was kind of like my thing. That's what everybody knew me as on YouTube, the do-rag guy, right? So I decided to make my own do-rags and sell them and start it as a whole business. Now, a lot of YouTubers, they'll have merch, right? And merch is really like clothing or even it could be do-rags or hair accessories or whatever but they're really just selling it to their audience me i wanted to take it to a step higher so it, it, my do-rags are not merch i never called them merch it's an actual brand i even had thought about putting it in, in like beauty supply stores and everything like that but i just never went with it but why i say it's a whole brand we was running thousands of dollars a day with facebook ads um, i actually learned facebook ads myself I learned how to run Instagram ads myself. Literally all these stuff I learned from YouTube. I was just the type of person that if I want to learn something, I'm going to go on YouTube and learn it myself. Um, I did not like school. I was never a big school person. I didn't graduate high school. I didn't go to college at all. Never wanted to go to college. None of that. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I can teach myself anything if I go on YouTube and just start searching it. So I would search a bunch, a bunch of things. How to create a Shopify store. How to uh, start a business. Keep in mind, my dad does own a business. So obviously I had good... Um, mentorship with him. He taught me a lot of different things. So I did know a couple things. And then what I didn't know, I just went on YouTube and figured it out, like how to create Facebook ads, how to run Instagram ads, how to optimize it, how to create good content. You know what I'm saying? So now I have the YouTube channel. Plus I have my do-rag brand, which is called Jurags. And now Jurags is bringing in a good ten to $35,000 every single month, additionally on top of the YouTube money. But you know what I'm saying? You... You always see these quotes on Instagram. That's like millionaires, they have seven sources of income. So the, the two in income sources was good. I was bringing in pretty good money, 50K a month, pretty average, you know what I'm saying, with both of them combined. But then I wanted other stuff. And I realized I can outsource a lot of the work. So let's say with Facebook ads, right? I had a digital marketing agency, right? I would go to businesses, make them sign contracts. Um, basically, if you guys heard of Ty Lopez, I basically did what he was doing, you know what I'm saying? I would go to businesses, um, offer them, social media marketing packages and then i would have i would outsource the work so i would let's say i would sign somebody for five thousand dollars a month right then i'll pay somebody else two thousand dollars a month to actually do the work and then i would pocket the additional three thousand dollars a month so i had that going for a while i also had a website um like optimization company where we kind of went through people's websites and see what they were lacking what apps they could use to improve their business to get more conversions so i also had those two other businesses on the side which were bringing in a solid another probably like ten to $12,000 a month. So at this point, I'm like 18, 19. I'm making some pretty nice money and it's just being stacked up except for minus the business expenses, which really weren't that much. YouTube isn't a lot of business expenses. My Jurag brand, the Durag brand, that was a pre pretty decent amount of business expenses. And then the digital agency, that was really, it was no product or nothing like that. I was really just paying the people to do the work. So at this point, I'm bringing in upwards of $70,000 every single month of profit. And it's, you know what I'm saying? It's just stacking up. But I have like a, I feel like I have a very futuristic mindset where I'm never really complacent in where I'm at, which can be bad because you, you're never really, you're never really, I guess, happy where you're at. I'm happy. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? But I'm always, I always want the next thing. I always want more. You know what I'm saying? 
and I'm always thinking like in the future. So as far as the YouTube thing, YouTube pays pretty well. I've been doing YouTube for a, for a pretty long time and YouTube does pay well, but I look at YouTube as like the career of a rapper, right? A YouTuber is not going to last for his entire life. Most of the time, the chances of a YouTuber lasting his entire life is very, very low. Um, same thing like you say, you see with a rapper, a rapper can make a hit song, a hit album could be five, could be great for five years. You know what I'm saying? 10 years. But after that 10 years, their money isn't coming in as good as it should be. So I'm thinking in my head, okay, what can I do to kind of use all this money and not, you know what I'm saying, have to rely on the YouTube money or the other money or whatever it is, right? Because I'm, I'm like, okay, my YouTube career might die out soon. You know what I'm saying? I don't know when it will die out. I don't know how it will die out. But I'm thinking in my head, nothing lasts forever. So I want something, I want to use my YouTube money to go into other things. So that's kind of where I started getting into investing. And like I told you guys in multiple different videos, I kind of got into it at a, in around, um, I've been in crypto since 2016, 2015. I used to help my dad out. Um, he had, a, he still has a good amount of cryptocurrency. Um, he was like one of the people that you see, um, or that you hear about that had it super, super, super early. Um, and he didn't really know how to use it. So I would be YouTube videos on how to, how to claim Bitcoin gold. If you had Bitcoin, I would, I was just, you know what I'm saying? I was just, in the loop at that point and he would pay me sometimes a cryptocurrency and it would just stay inside my wallet but i really wasn't using it that much that was back in 2016 but i started going heavy into crypto in 2020 um that's kind of when i had that mindset change of okay i have all this money i'm saving all this money now it's time to invest all that money because that's like a switch that i feel like a lot of people need to get out of because we hear as kids we hear the world tell you save your money save your money save your money i think that's a pretty stupid idea because the value of money goes down all the freaking time um, saving your money does absolutely nothing. Save to invest is what we should be doing. We should not be saving to have an unlimited emergency fund. You need your emergency fund and you need, after you reach the being able to take care of yourself for six months or having enough money to take care, care of yourself for six months, after you reach that number, the rest of your money should be going into saving for investments. You know what I'm saying? I could do a whole video on kind of like how you can budget your life and stuff like that because I feel like I have a good strategy for that if you guys want that let me know inside the comments down below but yeah so that's kind of where i was at i'm like got all this money i'm saving the money the money looks great in my bank account keep in mind every time the the number like kept going up and kept going up i'm like dang i got this much money in my bank account but it's just like it's in my bank account and not doing nothing so i wanted ways to invest it um i got into stocks and stuff like that stocks move a little too slow for me i'm not gonna lie to you i got into crypto heavily in 2020 like i said and I just started seeing some crazy good gains, so then I started going kind of balls deep into crypto, and now I'm here. Um, so I kind of really said all this just to explain to you guys like how I was able to make all this money. Started off with YouTube, do rag brand, um, digital, um, well, social media marketing, also the the website uh, analysis um, company as well. Uh, obviously, I've had a couple other stuff uh, throughout the thing. I've had clothing companies. I've um, invested in some other things that really didn't turn out that well. But, you know what I'm saying? I have a bunch of different streams of income. I have multiple YouTube channels at this point. Um, but that's kind of how I built my whole or gained all this money. And I feel like a lot of people don't know that. I feel like I've said it before in my videos, but I feel like a lot of people um, on this channel, especially, or really any of my channels, if they didn't watch the one video that I talked about, then they have no clue at all. But hopefully this was able to kind of give you guys a, a gauge onto how I was able to make this money and how I now use that money to invest and make more money and make more money. Um, honestly, what I tell people all the time is what it, really what I just said to y'all a couple minutes ago. Save to invest. Obviously, you have your emergency fund, but you shouldn't have a, a unlimited cap for how big your emergency fund goes. You should have an emergency fund that's a $10 billion. You know what I'm saying? You should have at least a six months uh, emergency fund that'll cover your rent, that'll cover your food. But then after that, save to invest so you make more money because money sitting inside your bank account is dead money. I'm going I'm to tell you the truth right now. You know what I'm saying? Money sitting inside your bank account is dead money. Obviously, this is not financial advice. Do whatever the heck you want to do with your money. I'm just telling you all from my personal uh, um, experience. And obviously, I'm not the, the smartest person in the entire world. I'm obviously still learning. But um, that's kind of where I'm at. Hopefully, you guys were able to get something out of this video. Hopefully, I was able to kind of give you guys an understanding of where the heck I got this money from. I didn't get this money from my parents. I didn't get this money from the lottery. I didn't get this money from a random person on the street giving it to me. My seat keeps falling down. Maybe I need to use the money to buy a new chair. But um, yeah, I got the money because I never spent it. 
I made a good amount of it by working very, 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 very hard, doing a lot of things in a short amount of time. Um, really, I was not the type of person to go out and party or nothing like that. I uh, never really enjoyed it. If you do, if you do, I, kudos to you, you know what I'm saying? It just wasn't for me, you know what I'm saying? So I had a lot of time um, where I was just like zoned in. I was reading books, uh, watching YouTube videos, buying courses, watching through literally probably like 20 courses in my entire life. Um, probably more than that, actually. But yeah, really just information, 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 then applying that information and benefiting from it, I guess. But that is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like right now. You know what I'm saying? If you guys want more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys want me to do a video on like my budgeting strategies, um, maybe that could be able to help you guys if you guys have trouble with budgeting. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll do that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit the bell if you haven't hit the bell already because these are straight gems. You're going to want to be notified whenever I drop these gems. Like I say all the freaking time. Make sure if you're uh, interested inside of CryptFi Academy, you'll learn everything I know about cryptocurrency trading and DeFi trading and passive income and fighting all these coins, you know what I'm saying? Hit the link inside my uh, description. It's also inside the comments down below, CryptFiAcademy.com. Sign up for my Patreon because I'm dropping straight gems in there. You're going to want to, you, 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 trust me, bro. You, you want to be in it. So go sign up for it. You know what I'm saying? And that's really about it. Good luck on all your trades. Good luck on all your businesses. Good luck on my chair is still falling down very slowly. This is ridiculous. Good luck on your, 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 your investments. Good luck on your birthday party that you're trying to plan for your 50th birthday. Good luck on life as a whole, man. I'm going to see you in the next video.